Well, after one and a half years of waiting, my first backing of an Indiegogo campaign has finally arrived. It's a little bit late, about a year later than they thought it would be, but I'm really excited to open up this box and share with you guys the cool tech that is inside. All right, so I was an original pivot head owner and I really, really liked their glasses. Uh, I did a comparison of them to the Google Glass and uh, there's several areas where they came out on top and a couple areas where uh, they were a little bit behind, but some of the changes that they've made in these are what I was really excited about. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this package here and show you guys what is inside. All right, so. One box, and here we go. Here's another, and we'll just pitch this to the side. All right, so here you've got the two boxes that come inside, or that came inside for me because of the package that I got for the campaign as a backer. I've got some of the uh, specs here on my iPad so that I don't get some of that information wrong. Uh, but what's really cool about these is that they shoot 1080p 30 frames a second, 720-60 or 720p 30 as well. Uh, so you could do some slow motion in 720p 60 or have really ultra fluid motion. There also is an 8 megapixel still camera in this. They do time lapse and they can do a burst mode. So uh, pretty cool. This is their mod system and that's what I really like about what they're doing here with this uh, these glasses. Uh, they have different clips that you can put on, one for extra battery life uh, or for streaming capabilities. So there's like a live mod, they call it, and that does, uh, it can either share video that you've already recorded or photos using your phone as an internet connection to uh, post those online, or you can actually live stream it by connecting these. So let's open it up and see what's inside the box. First off, the box is really, really durable. Um, really cool finish to it. Really like the artwork as well. Um, but there we go, right inside uh, we've got the Smart Architect Edition um, and some cool, more cool artwork. And there's the tech, it's these sunglasses. All right, let's see how these pull out of here. There we go. Oh, look at this. Get a nice little carrying case to protect them. One of the things that I did find with the old pivot head glasses was that um, I did scratch the lens on them because I accidentally packaged them with the USB cable inside the container and uh, yeah I had some issues there so go ahead and pull these out. These aren't exactly what I had ordered. Um, when they were doing the campaign they had two different types of designs and these were the chunkier version and I wanted, uh, they were like the Colfax edition I believe or Colfax edition uh, and they had like a metal rimming down here, it looked a little bit more old school as well as they had clear lenses so that I could wear them indoors or outdoors and be able to use the camera which is tucked right up here in the front, I don't think this will focus um, but yeah so uh, pretty cool They've also added some new things though, which is really neat. They've changed the interface from what they were originally planning. Now you've got your storage for your SD cards is tucked right here into the arm and you can pop that in and out. Uh, you can swipe on the actual arm, kind of like Google Glass to um, do video recording. You swipe forward to take a picture, you do one tap to do a burst is two taps and for time lapse you do three taps and you can do a quick grab by just using two fingers and tapping on this uh, side arm here uh, here we've got a download these are all labeled with uh, little tabs here and I'll bring the camera in and show you those and then you've got your charge port here on the right side to charge up the glasses uh, so there's two different USB ports right on the back of these which are also used for the mods so um, it says right here you've got the street smart heads up display and so there's little lights on the inside that'll illuminate to let you know uh, what you're doing if you're recording video and that was one of the issues that I had with the last ones was um, you didn't really know if you were recording or you took a picture or what 
when you press the button because the other one had a button on it I was never really sure what I was engaged or what happened because it was on the inner arm is where the light was so I always took them off clicked it to make sure that I was in video mode and then I would put them on and uh, and roll video with them uh, for pictures I wasn't as worried I just you know tap the button and you know usually it took a picture but it was more getting into video mode that I was worried about uh, but yeah you just throw these on you can walk around you've got the camera here um, and so as a video producer I'm really excited about this tech and what it means for me to be able to capture video uh, especially point of view video I could hand these to somebody and have them you know capture a day in their life um, we shoot a lot of kids with Operation Blessing. It'd be fun to put these on some kids and have them walk around and kind of see uh, their life from their perspective. And so uh, that would be a neat way to do it. I also am I'm a hobbyist into RC cars and quadcopters. And so being able to put these on and do the controllers, film myself as I fly, do little uh, tutorial videos, uh, just a really cool aspect for me. Um, to be able to use them for. So let's open these up and here we go. We've got our, our little chips. This is the fuel mod. Uh, there's a little on off switch on the back and these will just clip into the USB port here on the back of your glasses. And so this will give you a little extra boost. It extends the, the um, frame a bit uh, but not kind of like Google Glass does in a way but you know you've only got it on the one side with these you've also got or at least I purchased this live mod because I wanted to be able to share my media either to my phone or be able to stream live which is really exciting to be able to do and to be able to show people exactly where you are and what you're doing in real time um, and so that would clip in and so now we've got two mods on which kind of balance out the weight and uh, you can see here the little bit of extra that it adds. Um, so you're not going to really conceal that you're walking around videoing. It's pretty uh, obvious. It's not as I don't think it's even as discreet as the last one with the camera here in the middle. And I don't know what this is here. I guess you can uh, plug this into USB. I guess this is probably your charger for the two units. Um, let's see. If Take this out. Yeah, so you would plug this into your computer then or to a wall socket and be able to charge with this little USB adapter that came right here in the kit. So, and down here actually, let's see, there's, I forgot, there's one more box in here that, uh, here, we'll show a little bit of the instructions. Shows you how to charge, where the SD card goes, how to power it on. Uh, all the different things that it does, touch control, remote, camera settings, apps. And one of the cool things is they've got an SDK kit so people can uh, program for it. Uh, live broadcasting and the notifications. That's one other thing that this does in the heads up display here is it'll alert you to like emails and things like that using the heads up display. There's an app for your phone that you can download to be able to live preview, kind of like the GoPro app for their GoPro cameras. And so it, you'd be able to look and see what your frame is. Um, you'd be able to control some of the settings right from there. Because these have a lot of different settings in them. Um, I talked about the different uh, shooting modes for video. Uh, there's quite a bit more that it does. Let me pull in here. Uh, you can adjust white balance. Um, you've got uh, your ISO controls. Uh, black and white mode. You can do face tracking. These have autofocus. Uh, but there's also continuous autofocus and it has um, a manual focus, a fixed focus, uh, which is, I don't know exactly the, uh, let's see if I can find it here, um, 2.8 feet away to infinity and then it's got a macro mode. I almost forgot that inside here looks like there's a little bit more. Here we've got the clear lenses to go in here. You've got these uh, metal jackets, which is what I wanted, a uh, thin frame, little screwdriver to put those in. It's got another fuel mod. So I, I got two fuel mods in my kit. So that's pretty cool. And it came with an 8 gigabyte micro SD card. Uh, so this can go right into the compartment here. 
and we'll be able to get it recording pretty soon. And another USB charger for charging the fuel mods. So uh, quite a bit that came in this Architect Edition kit um, as a supporter for me. Inside I should point out that there's also uh, a little lens cleaner and a USB cable that came inside of the nice uh, case that came with it. So lots of stuff in here. I've got it all spread out all over the desk. Big mess of stuff. And uh, I can't wait to get out and actually shoot with this. It's really, really exciting tech. And uh, something that I've been, like I said, I've been waiting for for a year and a half. Um, and now I've finally got it and cannot wait to get out and test it all out. Because uh, the footage from the original Pivot Head was much, more, was much better than the footage on Google Glass, which was 720p. And at that it was pretty crummy. It was useful, uh, but not nearly as good as what came out of the Pivot Head. A much crisper image. Um, better just all around quality wise. Uh, there's no visual display which was tough to know your framing. The field of view on this is 77 degrees so it's not your super wide like a GoPro if you've got that strapped on your head uh, which is a view point that I, I mean I like that really wide look uh, especially for POV. So uh, it's a little tricky to know exactly what's in your frame here, but once you wear them and you learn them, you don't worry about it too much, you know. Uh, specifically, if it's right in front of you and you're looking down, you almost have to look down a little bit extra if you want to make sure you get it in. Because that's when I noticed I really missed things, was when I had these on. And if I were, say, filming an unboxing of this, I actually need to tilt my head a little bit extra to get that camera pointed at it. So, um... That's it. That is the Pivot Head Smart. Uh, you should look it up on their website. They've got all of the details about it. I watched the live streaming video that they did announcing these for the Indiegogo campaign backers. And it was astonishing. I was emailing other people saying, you need to check this out. They're filming these live with glasses on somebody's head and streaming it. And the quality was fantastic. Um, there was one little hiccup in it, but... You know, that any live stream you can run into hiccups in the feed. Uh, but overall, just amazing, um, amazing technology. And uh, I'm going to get some out, and you guys will be seeing some test footage from me coming from these glasses soon. Uh -huh.